channel 10, Tommy Lindholm's future forecast. We need to know where we're going. Okay. And this is where we're going. Up until Darnell and Margaret Walker. Hold on there. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, yeah. and we have usual arrangements. Brad, um, can you just cut to the chase? What's going on? We are rebranding. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. So Channel 10 has a new lineup. Tommy Lindholm presents Darnell and Margaret's Bucket List Show. Tommy, we're up a 10 share. We're up to, across the nation. 10 shares. That's a big jump, Tommy. And we plan to get us into the top 10. We're in the top 10. We plan to get us into the top 20, Tommy. Anyway, to guide us through this, <laughs> Marcus. So. Starting right now, we are rebranding. First show begins in two weeks. Brad, Uncle Brad, and I think it's a good idea to have a story. Are you telling me this is Marcus's idea? Well, why would you think it would be his whole team? Of course. I, okay, he had the initial idea. We had to roll with it. Is it a coincidence that since I've been on the show, the ratings have skyrocketed? Yeah. I think That's not. Right. That's it. Meeting's over. You guys got a funeral to go to. Yeah, is it mine? I mean, we did go up a ten share. No one really does that. Damn place is filling up. We had a lot of bad luck lately, Mom. Thanks for fitting me in. Th this looks new. Well, Darnell's clock radio died a couple weeks ago. I think he's ready to start. Oh. oh. I wrote a little something I would like to read. Perfect. It's a poem but it, it doesn't rhyme or anything. To Petey, you were the best. You kept away cats and raccoons. And you looked really cool. You were killed before your time. We will miss you. From Darnell and Margaret. Was lost, That's it. But now I'm found. Was blind. blind. Okay, so I lost a hundred bucks in the first race, twenty bucks in the second. Got me a GoFundMe page set up now, cause all I've got's my pension. Mom, it's about Petey. Yeah, well, I'm sorry for Petey, but I have to think about my pension. I can't afford anything for Petey. No. You spend it all on Kino, that's why. Uh, the dog races. And they've been good to me. Oh, oh Mom. Oh, Mom, nothing. He's buried in my yard, isn't he? Petey was in little tiny pieces in the crazy. Kept getting stuck to my fingers. There's nothing you could have done. I tried. Oh, I, I just that. wish I would have 3D printed. Before. Oh. Oh, 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 my girl. Oh, my girl. I don't really know what to say. Um, Petey was very well made. He took six or seven blows before I. Oh, no, kill her! Oh, oh. I'm here to pay my respects. That's why I attended, and also to have you all vouch that I did come, and you can share that with my anger management class, which I'm uh, late for. Oh, my. Well, uh, Petey, he, uh, never went over budget, and his death created a little spike in the ratings, so he's a good guy overall, you know? 
Be empathetic. I'm actually a very empathetic person myself, and seeing the way that this has affected you is actually really affecting me. And I am very, very emotional and very... And brave. Thank you. You're brave. She's gonna cry. Oh, yeah. She has nice boots. Yeah, she needs a hugger. Do you want like a Give her a hug. Give her a hug. Hug her now. Give her a big hug. She a needs a hug. She needs one. Well, I gotta say, I'm surprised for Barry showing up, but that was quite kind of him to open up. And um, all things considered, though, he still is the killer. Killer. Petey. Yeah. And I do look forward to making a Murderer 3, which I'm going to be doing with him as the featured guest. Yeah. Anyhow, Tommy, I'm sure that you have some kind and gentle words to talk about your memories with Petey. Why don't you come up here, big guy? I, uh, I would like to personally thank Petey for the, uh, the huge spike in the ratings uh, that happened on the show. That was very uh, thoughtful of him. And, uh, and uh, like Barry said, boy, boy, was Petey tough. Petey was a tough. He took blow after 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 blow. After blow. Oh, you know, he was hung in there for so long. And, you know, like, Humpty Dumpty had nothing on, this, on Petey, you know? Like, if only the King's men were here to, like, put him back together again. Humpty Dumpty was an egg. I guess, uh, I guess what can I say? I mean, may he rest in pieces. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, hey look, I, I know you're grieving right now, but it, it's really important that we get the, the show's crew working on the next um, challenge. So uh, what do you think you've got next on your bucket list? Well, Petey was a fighter. Yeah. So we think Petey would want Darnell to fight. Oh, like, uh, like boxing or, or MMA, something like that? No, I want to wrestle. Wrestle. Yeah. I see. You want to wrestle. Okay. Sounds well. like an insurance disaster, Tommy. Insurance disaster. Insurance disaster. You're an insurance disaster. Why don't you go find a sandwich at the crafty table? Okay. I'm listening. I don't know. To everything. 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 Yeah, listen to this. Uh, anyway, sorry. But, um... So, uh, but he's not wrong. It is a bit risky because, I mean, look, you've already lost toenails. You stepped on nails. You drown almost. Oh, almost. he thinks you're going to fight a person. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I get it. Okay, no. Yeah. That's ridiculous. I want to fight something gentle, you know, like a, like a bear or a cougar or something. Oh, excuse me. Did you say cougar? He wasn't talking to you. Sir. That's my middle name. Susan Cougar. Thompson. Uh, isn't that right, Margaret? Sea Otter Walker? Yeah. <sighs> That's my girls. Can't hardly tell them apart. Sorry, wrestling. You're going to wrestle. You Maybe. want to wrestle an animal. Maybe like a really big one. Maybe. Yeah, we'll get you something fierce like a kitty cat or something. Can we get a little enthusiasm? Yes, of course. Three, two, one. Well, we won't keep you on pins and needles wondering what the walkers have in store for us this time. It's wrestling, but none of that fake stuff. Nope, Darnell fully intends to wrestle a live animal. <laughs> Let's cut to a video that our producers made just the other day with the walkers. Cadet? Yes, ma'am. Are you ready to rumble? Yes, sir. I am, sir. This could be your life. Susan, bring out the first beast. <laughs> Okay, pin it. Pin it. Get him turned now. Oh, <laughs> All right. I knew she was going to work me up, but I thought slowly. Susan, bring in the next beast. All right. Get ready, honey. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, 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 yeah, I have no idea where Margaret found that escaped convict from. Oh, on Tinder, honey. Oh, on Tinder, honey. <laughs> well, luckily I was able to move my liver out of the way and let my pancreas 
take the brunt of the blows. So everything all worked out just fine. Susan, bring out the next beast. I hate I think I've got a way to get our old show back. What's wrong with the new show? Yeah, to be fair, you haven't really given it a chance yet. Are you kidding me, these idiots? I, I'll never win another award again. Tommy, a word. Hey. You're not thinking of sandbagging the new show, are you? What? No. <laughs> Does your uncle know? And, uh, who's the girl? <laughs> you got a problem with strong, confident women? What? No, of course not. I, I, I just, you know, suddenly you guys are joined at the hip. Listen, Brad has me watching everything. I see everything. I hear everything. You can't possibly hear everything. I heard you weren't happy you were going to screw the writings. What? No! No, who would, who would tell you that? Nobody. No. What? That's not... My parabolic mic app that allows me to listen in on conversations. Also, I was literally standing at that corner. A, the one in your app is illegal, and that's just rude. Well, might be illegal, but I'm a kid. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I didn't know it was bad. <sighs> that's good. You've got that voice down pat. What would he want? Let's be team, you and I. What do you say? What do you possibly get out of it? Nothing. Well? Looks like Marcus has a girlfriend. He might be using you to get girls. You know, I'm really proud of you. Oh, ri really? Mm. How come? <laughs> well, you got that full-time job. I love putting rivets into hot metal. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much fun, and the boys at the construction site really, really like me. Good. Mm hmm. That's awesome. But you know what, sis? What? I'm kind of lonely. Are you? Yeah, I, I wish I had a good man like Darnell, you know? He's so smart and. Taken. He always does the right thing, you know? He's taken. I know. Yeah. I think he's taken by you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Then there's Tommy. I mean, he's fluffy and, you know, but his feet. What? Awful. Yeah. I don't like feet. Where can I find a good man? Well, um... Due to a bedbug infestation, we find ourselves here at Mother Thompson's house. It was so nice of Margaret and Darnell to alert us to their bedbug infestation <laughs> after we'd already shot a bunch of film at the house. So great. Whew. Yeah, well, I knew I had to pick an animal that would make people stand up and be like, you know, what is that their guy doing? So, so Mr. Tibbles was enough then. Uh, Mr. Tibbles pushed me true enough. <clears throat> then Margaret showed me this book. Hmm. So you're actually okay with this? Well, I think you can do it because, you know, there was that time he got his hands stuck in the car door. Oh, yeah. He lay there for six hours till I came to get him. So you're equating a car door to an alligator's mouth. Damn it, Tommy, that... 
car door is the only reason why I don't play the piano. Just like John Hendrix. So, I think it's Jay. Jay Henderson. Animal control has no alligators. How are we going to get an alligator to wrestle Darnell without eating him? I can't believe I'm saying these words. We could... We could get an alligator that has no teeth. What? I don't... That is the dumbest... How does the alligator eat with no teeth? A human smoothie. A human... It has to be a human smoothie? Ugh. I got it. Jim's reptile part. Ooh, it's ringing. Right. You know what? If we do get an alligator and it does eat Darnell on camera, like our ratings are gonna go through the roof and that other little problem is gonna sort itself right out. <laughs> That's evil. Margaret, are you here for a workout? No, I'm here with Darnell. Who you gotta throw at me? Throw at you? Yeah, Russell, I got a big gig at the Tommy show. <laughs> Todd. Oh no, not Todd. No, oh, sure, Todd. Todd it is. Yep. Yeah, Todd. Todd, bring on Toddles. Guys named Todd are never tough. <laughs> oh, hey, Todd, you look more like a toad than a Todd, but I'm gonna rip your eyes out, and then I'm gonna bite you, and then I'm gonna skin you, and then I'm gonna just do you're not even a Todd, are you? You don't look like a Todd. You look like, no. I ain't Todd. He's Todd. Yeah. Hey, Toad. Uh, hey. You looking for me? Uh, no, I was just doing a Facebook survey. I was just thinking, I was wondering if you were like Coldplay. And I just, uh, yeah, I mean. You, you finally realize that this is way too tough a task? No. Like he hurt me. Like my body hurts. Like my hair even hurts right now. So Mr. Tibbles was too much? Yeah. No. You just want me to fail, don't you, Tommy? Tommy, you just want Darnell to fail. He gets his own show and it fails. Well, not on Margaret's watch. Hey. Margaret, I uh, didn't think you'd want to see me so soon after the funeral. Well, I don't. But I'm trying to prevent another funeral. Oh, what's Darnell up to now? <sighs> he wants to fight an alligator. Well, what does that have to do with me? I'm glad you asked. Margaret was so worried she made me go see an eye doctor get those peepers peeping. We, we found you an alligator. Six foot. 
Just the way I like my luggage. Anna, you go ahead and look. Hi. Got the money? I have the money. You have to make sure that he can't see it all. He won't be able to see a thing. I will dilate his eyes. He will be completely blind. Okay. But you've got to keep an eye on him when you leave. Car. He won't see anything. Good. Good. You worry too much. He's just a kid. He's no, he's out to get me. Tommy Leno. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> uh, you're early. We're always early. He has um, compulsive issues. Oh, <laughs> not now. Not now. So the crack. Yeah. What do you want? Let's him? just wait. Let's just wait. I'll bring him out at the last minute. You know. You know for. Uh, there's safety issues. <laughs> You're better off with a figure. Round tree. Around oh, tree. look at this treat. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. So hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> hey, hey, Tommy. Hey, Darnell. What's, hey, what's going on? Darnell, what's, over here. What, what's going on? Hi, hey, Tommy. My paper's got peaked. That's a you? Can't put him in the ring like that. He's obviously blind. He's blind he's got a buddy named Barry. They get the alligator. Barry, I made Barry. Well, I guess we have it all figured out. <laughs> Margaret, yes. show me the ring, dear. We're going to go in down here. Under, okay, we're going to go under the ring. Under the ring. He's in the ring. There we go. <laughs> Come on over to the corner there, Darnell. Yep, back into the corner. What are you guard. doing? Oh, gross. Uh, welfare. All right. Oh, no, you, that's it, Darnell, you've got him. Uh, dancing. And I see he's battling a rare standing Mexican luchador alligator, I guess. Oh, oh, and he kicks him right in the groin. Now he's, you're riding him? You're riding him like a pony. Uh, he's taking off, he took off his shoe. He took off the alligator's shoe. Oh, he's running around like it's a trophy. Oh. Oh! We found a garbage can. What's he going to do with that? Oh! Right in the... Oh, he's got him right in the back. Okay. Somebody throw in the towel already. Oh, my God. Oh, what is he doing now? Oh, he's running around like it's a trophy. Are you sure? Oh, he's giving away this trophy. Oh, he's going to... All right, babe. Oh, he people's elbowed him. Oh, man, I haven't seen that move since the rocks are doing movies. <coughs> oh. oh, whoa, he de missed entirely. <coughs> oh, no. oh, no, it looks oh, like somebody hit my wildly. sister on the head, oh, no. rendering I'm her unconscious. Oh, no. oh, he's trying to. Looks like to someone's beaned her in the noggin. Who would do that? Oh, I'm so I glad I fell oh, into your right arms. <laughs> Oh, he's fighting! Oh my god! He's giving the crocodile a taste of his own medicine, I guess. Oh! Oh! Oh, the old forearm smash! Four oh, knee to the back. He's got the alligator, he's thrown him to the ground. Stomping him. Oh my god. No, please! It's clearly. Ah! Oh. Leg smash. Oh, now he just did a somersault on top of him. That's a move I'm not familiar with. Another people's elbow to the head. Oh, he's, oh, this is, oh, he's torn his leg, covering up. Oh, and another one. Oh, 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 he's, he's beating with his own shoe. Where did those come from? One, two, three, four. Tell that ambulance! Let's skin this gale! Damn bell! Margaret! The fight is over! Stop! Just, hey, get off the poor guy! Get him off! Get away from him! He's not really an alligator! Well, here we are after the match with uh, our alligator, <laughs> Barry. It turns out the neighbor Barry has uh, portrayed the alligator here in today's match. Now, Barry. Uh, I was quite surprised to see you under there. How are you doing? Uh, 
The ambulance is coming for me. How do you think I'm doing? Oh, <laughs> very funny. The ambulance is coming for you. Uh, oh, that's a great, uh, great joke because we here at Channel 10 uh, would like our viewers at home to know that safety is, of course, our number one concern and, and, uh, and that wrestling is fake and that none of the things you witnessed today were, in fact, real. Uh, they were just all acting. Uh, right, Barry? You were just... Margaret assured me I wouldn't be beaten. I was exactly. You were senseless. You weren't being beaten. You were just that uh, they were play acting. When you when you saw those clubs coming down hard on your head and that chair and the and the really wreathing on your body, it was all choreographed. And, uh... Never hurt like that in my life, ever. Barry, uh, way to hang in there. And uh... Oh, not that short. Sorry about that. <laughs> just remember, here at Channel 10, we believe in safety first. And, uh, and Barry here is going to be just fine. Well, I was worried for you, hon. <clears throat> I wasn't. Why was that? I knew it was Barry in that suit the whole time. What? I had to avenge Petey. And you went along with it? I sure did. Mm. Ooh. It only hurts when I walk. And breathe. <laughs> <laughs> 